Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an old system recognize a newer hard drive. Ok, this situation uh, appears mostly when you have a really old computer and you try to use a newer hard drive uh, in it. In this situation, exactly right here, uh, I have a uh, Pentium compatible motherboard. It was made for a Pentium 4. As you can see, it uh, has IDE connectors on it. It still has a floppy drive, so this thing is old. It has a 20 GB IDE hard drive in it. It's old, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> so, I want to try and put in it a 160 uh, gigabyte hard drive. It's a Seagate Barracuda uh, uh, 7200 RPM hard drive. So, it's obviously way bigger and way faster than the one that uh, is in it already. This hard drive, I've connected it, as you can see here, powered. Uh, I also have uh, the data cable, but if I try to uh, turn on the computer, I will show you in a moment, it is not uh, recognized. I will enter the BIOS. Actually, I'm not even able to enter the BIOS. In some situation, it might even hang. If your BIOS is set to, uh, at least in my case, to IDE mode for the SATA drives. If it's in RAID, uh, AHCI or something like that, it will boot, but it will not recognize it. If it's in IDE mode, even for the SATA drive, it will not even boot. So, to boot this thing up, I need to remove the SATA cable, quickly power it on, go to the ID configuration and here as you can see we are on non write that means we are on ID mode this BIOS has a weird way of uh, naming things I will set it to write escape exit save changes and exit bump the camera obviously close this thing up Connect the hard drive, power this thing on, try not to bump the camera once again, F2 to enter the BIOS now, as you can see it is entering the BIOS now, again to ID configuration, if this will actually disappear that is from my monitor, as you can see here not detected for both uh, SATA uh, ports. So, I can directly power it off at this point and disconnect it for a moment and show you what you actually need to do. As you can see, there are two connectors. One for power, one for data and there is a third uh, interface which is not really a connector. There are just four pins right here. These are similar to what uh, ID drives uh, used to have. They, they are configuration pins. So, to set this thing to be recognized by older systems, you take the ones further to the right. On some hard drives, this is even written on them, but on mine, sadly, it's not. As you can see here, it's telling you only about power and data, and that's it. And on those two connectors, pins, whatever, you use a standard motherboard jumper. It's a bit big, but it will enter in the end. Just uh, the pro only problem is it's remain, it remains a bit uh, on the outside, but it shouldn't bother you at all. And like this, connect everything back up. And power this thing on. And get ready to press F2 as always.
as you can see it recognized our hard drive already ID configuration when this disappears uh, it doesn't show our hard drive here but it is recognized if you actually want to see it here you can go to this set it to non raid and then escape save changes and exit ok and then we will enter the BIOS once again again we go to ID configuration and we can see our hard drive right here 160 gigs so basically it depends on, on you if you want to run, uh, run it in uh, native SATA mode you will not see it in this list but it will be recognized if you want to run it in ID mode then it will even show up in this list but you need to put that jumper in now if you have a big and expensive drive do your homework and search online what connecting the jumper there does on your particular drive I don't want you to burn your drive just because you are doing what I'm telling you this should work on most drives but I cannot tell you 100% sure for every single model uh, out there so yeah that's about it try to do your homework search online on forums and see if anybody did that for your particular hard drive model if not it's a bit risky but uh, from what I know you should be okay but it's up to you if you want to do it or not in the end for me as you can see it's working perfectly zero problems and that's about it and there are lots of people doing this on their hard drives and they are working perfectly in older systems so yeah it is what it is and uh, hopefully this helps you in which case uh, please give it a like check out my other videos subscribe to my channel and uh, as always see you in the next one bye